the embryos which have been frozen or rather vitrified that is a different way of freezing embryos which is used recently what is the chance of pregnancy when embryos partially lose some cells now remember when embryos are thawed they see a loss of a few cells now traditionally we freeze embryos on day five which is a blastocyst stage but they are more than 100 cells and thus taking 5 to 10 cell damage is something the embryo can recover very easily. Now on day 3 you have embryos that are between 6 cell and 8 cell stage and in these cases you do not see the same recovery rate that may take place. So this study looked at what is the loss of cells in a day 3 embryo and what are the chances of pregnancy and this was a total number of embryos were about 2,327 and they were looking at a single embryo transfer. What have earlier studies said? The earlier studies have said that if an embryo lost cells on day three, it showed a slower cleavage overnight. There have also been studies which have looked at a negative impact of losing of cells and ongoing pregnancy and also some links to showing small for gestational age while there have also been studies which says it had been there had been no difference so in this study they looked at frozen embryo transfers of using the hrt protocol and a natural protocol and remember you trigger or you do the embryo transfer in a modified natural protocol so if you have a look at the study uh, studies what it did indicate is that the live birth rate was significantly higher where there was no cell damage and was lower in where there was, cell, there was cell damage. The higher the amount of cell damage, the chances of pregnancy also went down. Now, this is something which we need to remember when you do tell your patients that the cells of an embryo will get damaged and depending on what their recovery is the more the cells the embryo can absorb the damage to cells the less the cells the damage to to embryos are more so in an embryo the small cells are called blastomeres and if they get damaged the chances of pregnancy do decrease now, what this study also suggested is that there was a lower live birth rate and a clinical pregnancy rate compared to fully intact embryos. And finally, what it also looked at that the blastomere loss, that is a small cell loss, was not associated with neonatal length, weight, or head circumference. So that gives us an idea. And while you counsel patients, if you're freezing on day three, this is a risk that does happen. And freezing on day five tends to significantly reduce the number of embryos, but these embryos survive much better. Thank you.